welcome aboard the Exploder. And uh, it's my airship. Uh, I've had the server mod give me creative mode for a minute so I can show you this. But the size of this thing is really why it's called the Exploder. I'll do a quick fly around so you can really uh, get a grasp for how large this is. Um, like I said, I just had the server mod give me creative mode uh, for the purpose of this video. Um, all of this was actually built in survival. Every single block was gathered by myself and placed by myself. The majority of the hull and the ship is made out of spruce with planks. Besides pouring water here, those are my fully functional TNT cannons made out of stone slabs. And the blimps on top uh, are made entirely of white wool. The hardest part of the construction, you know, obviously not being able to fly made some things uh, more difficult than others, but the hardest part was actually this propeller uh, back here. Um, so I'll give you a tour of the ship. We'll go ahead and land on the dock here. Um, up here, is, this is supposed to be a steering wheel, um, it came out pretty retarded, I don't really like it, uh, but that's supposed to be the steering wheel for the ship. Uh, I did go through some rough patches where a friend of mine, former, uh, came to help me out. Um, I was falling off a lot, and uh, when I first finished the hull, the shadow this thing cast on the ground was actually so large and so dark that uh, creatures were spawning on it in the middle of the day. So uh, he helped me out, helped me recover some of my stuff, as well as uh, my other friend, he. So they both got special places um, on the deck, built specially for them. This is my room, the captain's quarters, which is... Uh, quite extensive. Uh, I've got a room over here uh, that really serves no purpose. I've got some knives up on the wall, a map, some sort of bullet boards and stuff. Wall of storage. I like the, uh, the doorway. I think that's pretty neat with all the uh, fencing around it. Crafting my ender chest, which is nice. Uh, I like this feature too. Uh, this is a glass tunnel I built that uh, pretty much allows the captain to go ahead and walk the ship and look at how everyone else is doing without having to really mingle with uh, you know the rest of the crew. So you're allowed to you know go and, and see how everything else is going on your on your vessel without having to. Uh, you know, if you don't really want to see your crew at all, someone must be blowing something up. Okay, so we come back here to a, uh, oh, it's nice, really bad. This is a staircase built in the back of the room. And, uh, bedroom, which goes out onto an observation deck uh, that lets you overlook the, uh, the top deck of the ship. You don't come up here and enjoy a bottle of champagne if you're a uh, wench. Uh, you've got some private storage and a uh, couch table, etc. And moving on. Out this door is uh, access to the back lounge deck. It's uh, built off the back of the ship, uh, which is again, you know, a nice place to come and uh, it's a nice place to watch the sunset. Because the uh, sunset's right here on this uh, now, so it's a nice place to come out and watch the sunset. And uh, this is the main body of the ship. Um, see there's uh, multiple levels, uh, 
here is a chow hall that I built for the crew. Uh, it's all sit down and enjoy a meal together. So you've got several benches, tables, probably sit down a uh, hundred people. Um, here's one of my TNT cannons. Uh, since we are in creative mode, um, I'll go ahead and fire one for you. Okay, so all you do is uh, step on the pressure plates in sequence. Uh oh. And it fires off into the distance. And I'm not quite sure where it landed, but it shot a TNT out the end there. I'm sure there, there's better videos of cannons on YouTube, so you guys can check those out, get the idea. But I've got six cannons installed, three on either side. Um, I've got bridges here so that you can uh, cross the gap without having to uh, obviously fly or um, you know walk all the way around. This is actually one of the first things I installed was uh, crew lodging. There's five rooms on each side that are all identical. Each one has a bed, a nightstand, a torch. Uh, some of them have two torches, it just depends on how they line up. A chair, a table, and a chest. Um, only two people on my server actually came and claimed the rooms for themselves, so <laughs> there's only two rooms of stuff actually in them. Uh, this is the bottom level of the ship. Uh, we've got uh, alchemy station set up, chests with some uh, nether war, uh, water bottles, awkward functions, you know, stuff waiting to be brewed. Uh, I did manage to uh, throw some nether war in here as well. And uh, back here we've got hot tubs. So you can see uh, four different hot tubs back there, and a larger one here. And uh, back past these, I've actually got some more uh, some more storage. It's, uh, it's all empty. Actually, I didn't plan that out very well. You can't even open these. So they serve absolutely no purpose. Uh, th those were actually... Uh, I actually intended to use those. So just fly up here. I've got my... Uh, Chanting station set up. It's pretty cool. Actually, I want to drop the torch there. Yeah. And, um. Oh. There is, in fact, more to see. Ah, lagging again. There is more to see. If I can stop lagging. Okay, so, um, back here we've got the brig, we've got, um, cells for people who have been naughty, um, and, uh, it's identical on the other side, I'll just zip on over here. So you see we've got, uh, three cells on each side, which is, uh, pretty cool. And, uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Well, anyway, down here, we've got the engine room. Basically, I just filled up the furnaces. And, uh, a huge, uh, turbine uh, that I connected to some other gears and stuff. It's, it's kind of hard to show you for any three to really get the uh, whole idea. It made more sense when I was building it, but this actually connects uh, straight through to the pillar. Uh, or the, uh, sorry, not the pillar, uh, the pillar in the back of the ship. So that's pretty good. Like I said, that was, that was one of the first things I did. 